Hey everybody, I just wanted to publish this video as a quick update to SquidViz. Uh, I've made it more able to deal with larger clusters. The issue with the Squid Visualization software before was that it would show every single PG in the cluster and if you had more than a few hundred PGs that would be really painful to try to uh, display for the system. So what I've done is I've actually just modified the script so that it ignores any PG that's active and clean. So from now on, it only displays PGs that are in a, in a non-good state. And, and that presents us with a much easier to view, much easier to calculate system, wherein if we have a failure, you will see those PGs displayed here. So we're going to simulate a failure by actually shutting down one of the OSDs. So let's do that really fast. <coughs> And we're going to wait this out for a few seconds. You see we have some lag here. That means we did see some changes. So on our next reload of this auto update, we should have some information displayed here. In the traditional pie chart, there it is right there. So it shows you exactly what's affected. This one's remapped. This one's waiting to backfill. So on and so forth. That was just degraded, active and degraded. So. Everything that's not active and clean essentially will show up in here. So if you just get a gray circle, you're all good. If you get any listing of any of your pools, there's something wrong with, with some part of that pool. We're going to go ahead and put that uh, back in now. And in theory, this should go to a large gray circle pretty quickly. Now that won't, you know, what I'm doing now won't affect the, the visual display here because we're just marking them out. They're not actually down. Uh, if they were down, uh, you'd see you'd see OSD one turn red. Well, you'd have to refresh this. Eventually, I think I will design uh, or split these. There it goes, full gray. Uh, I'm eventually going to split these out into separate status windows where you could see one where it's the physical and it refreshes on its own, and one for this and one for the IOPS. In fact, I, I believe at this point there's already an IOPS dash single and then there's a logical dash single, which are made for 1080p screens, which you can load independently of the physical layout. Cheerio!